What? Oh, me? Yeah, Mr. Tarver here, and I'm gonna hit you some back to school advice. Back to school advice. All right, I'm wearing a backpack because it feels very back to schooly. Back, back to schooly, schooly. Okay, so I wanna get you some advice on uh, keeping things organized for school, okay? Organization is key. I don't care if you're a teacher, a student, a high school kid, elementary kid, whatever. Organization is key. A lot of schools will make you carry around a planner and write down your assignments and take it home to your parents to sign because they want them, you to be organized in what you have to do because there's so many things that kids mess up on in school that are regards to turning in homework, turning in assignments, or getting things signed. There's so much to remember, and that's with any part of life. You need to be organized, and I think that's one of the best things schools can do for you is teach you organization, okay? So what I recommend for organization, this is my one word that I feel like can do it. Two words. Let's do two things, okay? You ready? Lists. Keep a place where you have a list, whether it's a planner. I like the Moleskine notebooks. Um, I like little little notebooks, the bigger medium notebooks, whatever it is, planners, I don't care what it is. Have something where you write down stuff from each period that you need to do. Okay, I don't care if it's a, like one of those composition books that are like 50 cents. Just write down what you have, mark things off. If there's something you need to bring home, write it down, okay? If you're trying to remember after eighth period or seventh period or whatever, you're like, oh, what did I have to do? What was it, first period, second period? You might miss it, okay? Something you have every period that you can write it down in. Let me, let me while I'm talking to you, I'm gonna get it out my example, okay? This is what I use. I have, for some of my stuff, I carry one of these, okay? It's just a moleskin piece of paper and I can write stuff in it and it's a checklist. I have one for each day. They're not expensive and you can get them. This is what I carry around for everything I have, okay? This is leather. I have an iPad mini right here attached that I glued in there. And then I have a daily planner right here that I have stuff in and then I just flip to the page of the week it's on, okay? So that's my advice. Get something that helps you organize stuff, whether it's a list, a piece of paper, you write it on your arm, you know, just don't wash your hands too much because you get rid of it, but whatever it is. I knew a guy in college who had a tattoo on his thigh and it said, to do, one, two, three, and he would write it on his thigh. So I thought that was pretty cool, but I'm not saying go get a tattoo, but if you do, put a little Tarver Academy uh, pie sign on it, send us a pic, we'll post it, okay? So lists, okay? Keep it organized so you don't miss stuff you're supposed to do. The second thing and the last thing, consolidate. Don't have, you know, seven three ring binders and seven of everything for all of your classes, okay? In college, I would have 15 hours as an average um, semester of college. You got five classes, okay? Most college classes, you're really just taking notes um, and then you're taking tests. That's it, that's the majority of it. You're not doing projects, you don't need all these like crayons or color pencils. So what I would get at the first of every semester is I would get a five subject through uh, spiral notebook. They all, all the papers stay in it. They've got pockets for each of those things. And so I can just slide papers in, the very occasional paper that they turned in. Other than that, I'm just taking notes and writing stuff down. All right, and it's all in one binder. That way I don't have to remember, oh, I didn't bring the right binder. It's in that binder, okay? So if you're in college and you have the choice, I say put it all in the same thing, whether it's a three ring binder, a trapper keeper, which you look like a dork, but they're awesome anyways, so don't let anybody tell you different, or just like a spiral notebook with different subject dividers, okay? All in one makes it more simple because you're not thinking, oh, what class is this? Oh, what notebook do I need? No, it's always that one notebook. And then occasionally you need to bring a book to class. In college, you never really have to bring a book to class unless you're doing like English or some like history class or you're reviewing something. So that's what I recommend. If your teacher makes you get something for one of the subjects, a lot of times ask, hey, can I put like a, um, a binder divider in this three ring binder and not like, have another subject in it that's like related? And that way it just kind of helps consolidate stuff. You're not carrying as much or forgetting as much. So that's my best advice to you. Make a list so you stay organized and consolidate, okay? So don't forget, today's post is brought to you by Wear Arkansas. Boom, check them out, they got great clothes. Um, even if you don't go to, live in Arkansas, check them out. And then also, um, sponsored by Tarver Academy, so subscribe and uh, tell your friends. Peace, peace yo. Have good, have good uh, schools. School, school, school. School, school, no, yes, okay. Should I be done? Okay, sorry, bye. Hello, thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe, maybe 